Pine Top Lakeside is a community nestled in Arizona's White Mountains and has a well-developed retail and dining scene, but let's see what else there is to do. You can take in the Mogollon Rim. The rim is an escarpment to all you non-geologist types. An escarpment is a long cliff. The rim extends around 200 miles through central Arizona. Now, that's a long cliff. Pine Top Lakeside has a neat little park with paved trails that provides access to the rim and some very dramatic vistas. Pine Top Lakeside borders the Fort Apache Indian Reservation. The White Mountain Apaches have conveniently located a casino where Highway 260 meets State Route 73. I always thought that Honda meant give me your money. It turns out to mean welcome. The casino has a good number of machines as well as a small poker room that features tournaments six days a week. Next door is a large hotel. And across the street is a large RV park with some of the best rates in the area. Rainbow Lake is one of two urban lakes open to the public within Pine Top Lakeside. Though the entirety of its surface area is accessible by boat, only a small portion of its shoreline is accessible to the public, and that's on the north end of the lake. The remaining shoreline consists of people's backyards. It's just a stone's throw from White Mountain Boulevard. Its drawbacks include its lack of overall accessibility and its rocky bottom, the family failing of most lakes in the area. If bottom fishing from shore, expect to get snagged a lot. Arizona game and fish stocks it more often than its counterpart in nearby Woodland Park, and if you time your visit just right, you just might reel one in. Woodland Lake Park is substantially more than the average city park. Of course, it is tennis and pickleball courts. Numerous remodas and play sets. Two ball fields. and a disc golf course. The park's namesake is Woodland Lake, an 18-acre reservoir that provides recreation in the form of fishing and bird watching. As far as fishing goes, the lake has rainbow trout, largemouth bass, and channel catfish. The lake is quite popular with geese, and you might find yourself fishing with the national symbol. encircled by a paved path approximately a mile in length. Just be careful not to step in anything the geese have left behind. What really sets Woodland Lake Park apart are its trail system and untouched spaces. You can get out in the woods and just about forget how close you are to town. My personal favorite is the Walnut Creek Trail. I'll let these images speak for themselves. The White Mountain Nature Center is an educational nonprofit dedicated to helping the public learn more about the White Mountain's flora and fauna. There are exhibits in the main building located on the western edge of Woodland Lake Park on North Woodland Road. Behind the main building, there is a raptor feeding experience that takes place every day at 3 p.m. The birds of prey that you can see include a hawk, two Eurasian eagle owls, and a falcon. There is also a clever crow that is very good with money. On the extreme eastern edge of Woodland Lake Park is Big Springs, a genuine Arizona alpine wetland. It is literally a stone's throw from Woodland Road, so getting to it is quite easy. It's a remarkably peaceful place despite its closeness to civilization. It has, or should I say had, a resident beaver who used to register his displeasure at my presence by slapping his tail on the water. He eventually grew to tolerate me. I haven't seen him in a while, and I'd miss him if he were gone. Maybe you might see him, 